cardiac MRI test is a very comprehensive imaging test, which uh, gives great details of the heart. It uses a large magnet, radio signals, and a computer to generate images of the heart. And it does it all without radiation. Cardiac MRI can determine um, a lot of things about your heart, including the type and severity of your heart disease to really help your doctor figure out the best way to treat your heart problems. The main indications for cardiac MRI are symptoms that are concerning for heart problems, so such as chest pain, trouble breathing, palpitations, retaining fluid, as well as passing out. A cardiac MRI can really help us figure out um, why a patient's having uh, abnormal heart rhythm, can help us figure out the reason for the weakened heart, or can help us figure out also if their coronary artery disease has regressed. If the MRI requires contrast, the nurse will insert an IV, and at this point the patient lays down on the table and the MRI technologist starts taking pictures. The test typically lasts about anywhere from 20 minutes to about an hour. We can evaluate the aorta comprehensively, for example, for enlargement in only about 15 to 20 minutes, but something comprehensive like a cardiac MRI stress test takes it approximately an hour. The beauty of cardiac MRI is that it's a very comprehensive test. It not only provides information on heart function, heart structure, um, heart valves, whether a heart muscle is thickened, um, but really the key part is tissue characterization. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, what does the myocardial, the heart tissue, actually look like? We're able to see if there's any scar, if there's any inflammation, if there's any swelling of the heart muscle, or if there's any infiltration. It's essentially like a biopsy of the heart muscle, but without the invasive aspect, all done with just pictures.